So I'm showing how to force your modem, Bell modem, this is a hub 2000, how to force it on 5 gigahertz frequency because the 2.4 frequency gigahertz it's very unstable if you are operating a microwave inside the home from neighbors so we really want to put these modems on the 5 gigahertz now to get to this page this is the setup for your modem maybe call bell to help you but usually you just click this link here or dial this address just put it in the uh, uh the web address here maybe ask bell if you don't know how to get on this page and on this page when you need to uh, log in you put the serial number that's on the back of your modem unit the serial number on mine has three capital letters and then several digits so look behind your modem it says s slash n you enter that thing and then you get on this page on this page you click on manage my wi-fi and it's very tricky because um, um, a bell has hidden the future you have this line wall home and you need to switch it to off and you need to uh, say yes it's a confirmation window and then i'm just trying to not to show you my information at the bottom say click save and uh, once you click save you have this new link here advanced settings you need to click this thing and that's where you have all the let me just try to hover my phone so you don't uh, see all my information but at the very top here you have five gigahertz it says it's act activated and you also have 2.4 gigahertz sorry about the camera filming is really not the best and it's also activated and you actually want to turn the 2.4 gigahertz uh it's a frequency you want to turn it off because it actually it it's using uh don't forget to click save here at the bottom it's using both of them and uh, it gives you a confirmation just click uh, it says close just close and then you want to turn off this window i'm trying to just uh not really let me see where the mouse is here we go click this uh turn off this window and then you are back here uh it's just the window before and then let this thing to off so the whole home wi-fi home optimized shows let it to off and at this point you want to just close this window and then maybe log out from this uh this uh um, just click modem log out or something like this and you are done so this is let me just uh, explain again I'm, I'm really apologizing for the horrible filming uh this camera doesn't even have uh, image stabilization that's why it's shaky so the whole point here is bell modem at least this hub 2000 it's set by default to work on both frequencies the 2.4 gigahertz is actually an older frequency and it's used by very old devices if you have maybe a computer that's 10 15 years old which is very rare it's going to need that frequency to connect wi-fi wirelessly but most computers that are built uh, in the past 10 8 10 years will also have the 5 gigahertz frequency so after you change this setting forcing on the 5 gigahertz just make sure you can connect all your tablets phones computers whatever you have laptops make sure they can connect on wi-fi without problems if they all work with 5 gigahertz then you are set forget about the 2.4 gigahertz the uh, so i was saying that these modems from uh, bell um they have both frequency operating why at the same time because they bell maybe is thinking maybe you have a very old device very old laptop something so it needs to be able to connect but the problem is most modern devices have both frequencies so your laptop tablet can connect with both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and the problem is when they connect i don't know why uh, how they choose in between the two but when they connect with 2.4 maybe it's lower energy or something like this 
your connection is very very sensitive to uh, like i was saying a kitchen uh, uh, microwaves you, you if you have uh, neighbors or so uh, if you are living in the block apartment it's very very unstable the 2.4 so you want to force on the 5 gigahertz um, frequency connection and discard the 2.4 because if you leave the two on on your modem it's going to switch in between the two if you have uh, uh, on the laptop computer side your wi-fi card also have the two connections the two frequencies but if your modem is forced to use only the five one five gigahertz your laptop will all only uh, connect with the five gigahertz as well so it's going to be a very stable connection so basically, when you have a modern device, whenever possible to have a 5 GHz connection, forget about the 2.41, it's horrible, it's, it's just a dinosaur and the, the 5 GHz is very stable, it's not normally influenced by anything around home and you shouldn't be dropping that connection. Now, this bell, it depends, uh, normally bell also works on the cable phone, uh, phone wires, phone cables and those cables are very low quality uh, many many places so that can be another problem from dropping from internet connection uh, that's why Videotron by uh, a coaxial cable it's much more stable but that's another story uh, i was just wanted to i just wanted to show you about bell and unfortunately that setting uh, as you could see it's very buried in there i just wonder if the technicians when you call them know about it uh, that's why I made this video. I apologize for the quality of the filming and perhaps about the, a little bit too, uh, too long uh, talk. But uh, this will definitely, definitely help have a better connection with this provider. Thanks for watching.